गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल महाशिवरात्रि की आप सभी को ढेर सारी शुभकामनाएँ माई डे एज यूजल स्टार्ट विथ मेकिंग माई बेड आई टुक अ बाथ एंड गॉड फ्रेशन अप एंड वॉश शिफ्ट एट आवर होम मैं प्रार्थना करती हूँ कि आज महाशिवरात्रि के दिन शिवजी की आशीर्वाद हम सब पर हमेशा बनी रहे यही भाव मन में लेके शिवजी की पूजा करते हैं हम सब and because my skin feels dry after taking a shower i applied some rose water that is gulab jal on my face to feel hydrated and better hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel aap sabhi ko mahashivratri ki dher sari shubhkamnaye thought i'll start blogging today because uh what more positivity you want like it's mahashivratri today so i'll start with a new positive vibe and everything um like very optimistic about this blog i'm i'm very optimistic about this i don't know if you will find it optimistic or not but there is something in indian festivals like in our culture in the every single day is something different but when it comes to shivratri mahashivratri or maybe saraswati puja ganesh puja we feel we can feel that positive and optimistic approach that comes in our life that vibe you know that's why that's the only reason why i started blogging today i have taken my shower and i have done the puja of our home and we are going to a mandir uh, today in our village which i'll take you along and now i'm going to have some fruits because i'm fasting today upas um upas upvas rakha hai maine उपासो इस वॉट वी से इन ओडिसा बट उपवास रखा है मैंने एंड सो डूइंग विदाउट हैविंग फ्रूट्स एंड वाटर बट वी नीड टू लुक एट आर लाइक नो वन हैज़ फोस्ट मी आई एम विलिंग टू डू दिस आई एम रियली हैप्पी दैट आई एम एबल टू डू दिस एंड आई वॉन्ट टू इनकलकेट सटन प्रैक्टिस विच हैज़ सम स्पिरिचुअल मीनिंग एंड देर इज सम सिग्निफिकेंट मीनिंग इन इट देर इज़ अ साइंटिफिक फॉर एवरी रिचुअल्स फॉर एवरी थिंग दैट वी एक्चुअली ऑब्जर्व इन हिंदू कल्चर देर इज़ अप्टिमिस्टिक सिग्निफिकेंट साइंटिफिक मीनिंग इन इट एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दैट बट येस सो आई एम फास्टिंग टू डे आई एम गोइंग टू हैव फ्रूट्स एंड फ्रूट्स एंड a tata gluco something that mm, my mom bought for me so that i will feel energetic and i don't feel like that that i don't have i haven't uh, eaten anything yet uh, now it is 11 am so okay and i'll read a book mm, as usual i'll read a book i have done the puja so i'll read a book right now and uh, then i will sit to study for a while and um, i'll take you through the whole day today this is going to be my first blog and if there is going to be any certain problem looking at the screen or maybe camera if i'm not looking correctly then uh, please please uh, i'm already apologetic about it uh, please do consider that one thing that i'm starting to blog this this is my first blog so okay that's it for Reading Bhagavad Gita is definitely a pleasure. It is also a daily life thing for me. It is part of a daily life routine for me. The Gita and reading Bhagavad Gita has a different meaning. It adds a different meaning to your life. You must do that. I always tell you in all my videos, almost all my videos that you should read Bhagavad Gita and all the students specially should read Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita can be understood through five things. 
that is god ishwara living entity jiva prakriti that is prakriti also prakriti that is material nature kala that is time and karma that is action if you could actually understand read and understand particularly bhagavad gita paying more attention to what is written in it then it will add more meaning to your life as well as it will give you the knowledge that you need at every point of your life no matter what age or what phase you are in your life After reading Bhagavad Gita for around one hour or something, then I took a nap because I was not feeling well. And then we went out to uh, travel for a while. We went out to visit the Shiva Mandir, Shiva Temple. back from the temple shiva mandir and now i'm going to change and will talk to you i'll have something to eat like fruits or something and then i'll uh, uh, start studying i think so if i'll feel better <laughs> then i'll start studying but that experience was amazing to be at that optimistic atmosphere so many people so much of spiritual belief and everything i really loved it so i'll talk to you a uh, bit later i'll start studying 
I'll have something to eat and then I'll start studying. After having this fulfilling thing to eat, I studied for a while, like for around 2 to 3 hours. I did paper 1 of UGC net uh, from Aryan paper 1 book and right now I'm solving the questions of teaching aptitude if you can see that and I'm question I'm I genuinely believe that to be able to approach UGC net paper 1 well we have to practice more and more number of questions that helps a lot and the procedure or the process that I'm following is I'm practicing the questions and through the questions I'm going inside the text like for example I'm going through the options which is the correct one and if I don't know the answer then I have to read that particular thing maybe about teaching aptitude maybe about communication cultural communication or something else so that is the process that I'm following right now to be able to touch every important part of UGC net paper one थोड़ी देर पढ़ने के बाद लाइक 2 टू 3 आवर्स ऐसे पढ़ने के बाद हम मैं और मेरी मां मिलके अखंड दीप लगाए अखंड दीप इज व्हाट वी से इन ओडिशा एंड दिस वाज अ फुलफिलिंग एक्सपीरियंस टू मेडिटेट इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस अखंड दीप एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ शिव भगवान हिमसेल्फ देन आई हैड दिस फ्रूट जूस टू ड्रिंक इट हैज बनाना इट हैज grapes and also apple my ma actually grinded this and gave it to me everyone good morning this is the next day i wasn't able to actually end the vlog because because i was tired because i was, I was so busy i was tired and i wasn't able to uh, shoot um, the ending of that video any anyway, but the most important part is i went to the um, to to our mandir and uh, that was beautiful experience everyone was like so many people were there and everyone was like there are so many stories i feel definitely people are having a lot of things in their mind when they uh, think about god and when they visit a temple they have a lot of things that that goes on their mind but above all what what actually stays constant or remains constant is the feeling of that that calmness the spiritual uh, feeling the existence of god within us and there are a lot of things that i couldn't express properly but uh, yes that was uh, really a good experience for me and um, I could see a lot of stories, I could see a lot of people having a lot of uh, things in their eyes. People honestly, I would like to say that watching that Aarti and watching um, uh, Sivalinga yesterday, that temple was, I would say, heaven of an experience. That was really beautiful. And I felt some sort of positivity, I felt some you know, sort of ambience and energy inside me. Instead, like I was uh, fasting the whole day, but I never felt like, oh my God, I'm not eating. I, I actually never felt like that. I was actually enjoying the whole day, the whole process. And I was at it and um, started meditating. And out of nowhere, I decided that I will meditate and I will um, jab karenge. Uh, Om Namah Shivaya jab karenge. Ek so aath baar jo mala hota hai. So as a kid, we used to think a lot about like um, when our grandparents used to do this, like jab karte the, meditate karte the. So ham log ko bahut funny lagta tha ki kya nahi? Log to budhe log hain jab kar rahe hain. So I'm I'm telling it out of my own experience. You should do that, and I'm making it a thing to start doing every single day. That the process of meditating through this was amazing. That was something I uh, never experienced earlier. Pehli baar mein mein jaap kiya hai aise. In front of that Akhanda Deepa, we were actually um, Om Namah Shivaya Jaap kar rahe the hum log. So that was also one best experience yesterday that I felt. And at around 12 am, I went to see the Akhanda Deepa again with my mom. And um, I experienced some kind of beautiful energy like vibrant and amazing energy yesterday I never felt tired unless it was uh, like until it was uh, 1 a.m. then I felt like sleeping and I didn't study much uh, yesterday uh, like I'm not very proud of that particular thing that I haven't studied properly yesterday um, but yes I felt somewhere that if I will study much more concentrating in a concentrating way then I'll feel um, बहुत ज़्यादा भूख लगेगा। 
ये एक्सक्यूज था मुझे पता है लेकिन मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जब भी मैं ध्यान दे बहुत पढ़ती हूँ तो मुझे बहुत भूख लगती है एंड आई एम अ फूडी सो क्योंकि मैंने उपवास रखा है तो मैंने पढ़ाई नहीं किया आई नो दिस साउंड्स वेयर्ड एंड देर इज़ नो लॉजिक इन इट बट मैंने इतना ज़्यादा पढ़ाई नहीं किया है आज करूँगी एनी वेज आई वॉन्टेड टू एंड दिस ब्लॉग हियर एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू दैट हैव सम स्पिरिचुअल बिलीफ इन योर लाइफ ट्राई समथिंग एंड एक्सपीरियंस समथिंग न्यू इन ऑल द फेस्टिवल्स दैट वी हैव ऑल द um things that we have in hindu culture is actually amazing it's pretty am- i just want to say i wanted to say and i said also that um, be with me at all times and uh, i'll manage everything no matter what the problems are no matter how high or how low how much like ups and downs and everything that i have to face in my life just be with there shiva and i will manage everything and i'll get the strength to manage everything that's what i said um, in front of uh, shiva and um, that's it that is the feeling guys you need to have that feeling i am telling you you must experience that kind of feeling we human beings should ask for his support his blessings always she was blessings always and not that come and solve all my problems that is not going to work I'm going to end this video here the thank you so much to all the subscribers and to all the viewers who are not subscribed yet please subscribe to my youtube channel that is manisha misra and also uh, press the ghanti bell icon so that um, whenever i will upload a video you will get the notification and you will uh, uh, be able to play my video and watch it in a click and um, one more thing is like share and comment um tell me how was your mahashivratri experience in the comment section i would love to know and i would love to listen to it and read it not listen to it but i'll read it happy mahashivratri to you all once again